Very good evening to you. I'm Clive Bull. This is LBC. Between now and 10, it's the Property Hour with Direct Line Landlord Insurance. And with me to talk about the latest property news, take your calls and questions, is Paul Champlina, founder of Landlord Action. Hi, Paul. Good evening, Clive. And uh, with us this week as well, John Worth, Managing Director of Life Residential. Hi, John. Hi, good evening. I've got a couple of questions for you, John, if you don't mind. Oh, OK. <laughs> for uh, really relating to landlords, but also to tenants. Uh, yeah. First, Firstly, uh, you have obviously a lot of uh, landlords that will self-manage or they, they use let only, but what should a landlord do when they, they look to instruct a letting agent? Oh, there's many things that they need to look out for. There's a lot of obvious things, but people do forget that. Uh, one of the main things for us is go and meet the people that you're dealing with. Meet the agent, see them face to face, go to their offices. They must have an office. Um, someone like us, you know, we're covering the whole of London with 12 branches. You can go in any time and any trouble you've got it can be. But what else should with. you look for when you're in their office? You've got to be affiliations to certain uh, uh, associations like ARLA, um, the NAEA uh, is a big one, seeing what regest schemes that they're part of, the OFT. Uh, there's many of these uh, abbreviations that people don't know about. Go and see the guys and see what regest schemes and affiliations they're, they're members of. Uh, yeah, I mean, there are unscrupulous agents out there as well. Yeah. Um, and you say that the, the best way is to to check whether they're a member of certain organisations yeah. and, and go and meet them. Just don't go for the first one. No, absolutely. Go and see a selection. It's certainly not all about price, but it's like with any business, if you get on with a person and you feel that they're going to be uh, able to look after your investment and your property... You know, you, but you, you, want to be, you also want to make sure that they've got the confidence locally that they can achieve the best yeah, mental for your property. L- local knowledge is always the big key, and, and uh, most people uh, have a big pitfall when they deal with people they've not met before and they just they take uh, at face value what they've heard on the phone.